We are finally on our way again down the East Coast towards none other than the Everglades, your definite sailing destination. Captain Steven is at the helm and First Officer Dawn is on the deck. We also have First Mate Bill and our charter guest Amal and we are ready to rock. We're headed down the east coast of Florida, should be Miami around midnight, and continue to sail all night long. All right, the trip finally is getting better. Four days in, sun's out, the sea's calmed today, Tuesday about oh, three o'clock. Tell us about it, what do you got? What, what, yeah. spe what species is that? As you say, the old, I think it's a Nike <laughs> species. As you say, how cliche can you get? I caught an old shoe. I like the shoelace. day today though right compared to the last few it's a good afternoon yeah yeah finally, finally ended up night. yeah we got what we got 15 20 knot winds now yeah about that still making good way yeah. and we are approaching Port St. Lucie about eight miles from Port St. Lucie all right we'll have dinner and in the dark, we'll pass Miami, Biscayne, Elliott Key. Joanna, we're gonna pass Joanna. Yep, pass Joanna. Sorry, Joanna. Back. Yeah, we'll be back. We got a little pushed on this one. We lost three days because of the storm. Yeah. Big, big rolling swells. Of course, you can never see them. Oh, what is that, Steven? Bonita. What's a bonita? He's practically a little toonie, they call him. Oh. A little toonie. He ain't no good. Nah, he's real dark meat. I mean, a lot of people, some people eat him, but. Nah, we don't like dark meat. Sunrise, 6 a.m. Wednesday morning. And the seas calmed quite a bit last night. Unfortunately, we had to turn one motor on at least, so we're motor sailing, but we're gonna put the parasailer up in a bit when everyone is awake. And then we will be able to turn that motor back off again. And today there is nothing but blue sky and blue water. Small? Yeah. Small. Oh, you'll leave me to move up the road. He's after it, man. Is he gone now? Yeah.
Right before nightfall, we came across this boat, no life that we could see, but we called the Coast Guard and they were gonna come out and scuttle it because we almost hit it and didn't want somebody else to. We are about an hour outside of our inlet. Back in a hatchy something, I don't know. I'll have to put it on the screen later. But it is the inlet for Port of the Islands Marina, which will be our home for the next six months. It is right on the edge of the Everglades, as my husband likes to say, surrounded by mystery, alligators, all kinds of crazy stuff. We'll see. I really do want to go in the water, but i uh, not sure if I'm gonna wanna do that. Anyway, it will be fun. And we have a brand new dock, which will be awesome. Super still water. This was the same way last time we came here, super still water on our final approach. Kinda cloudy. Sails all buttoned up. No real wind of any significance to help us come in. Wind's been kinda, kinda rough on this trip. Never really was right for speedy sailing and we had to motor for eh, probably 30 hours which we don't like fishing line still out maybe we'll catch something spanish mackerel something gotta be something in here because we only have one dinner left i think i provisioned fairly well i hate having extra at the end of the trip captain steven what's what's uh, going I'm on doing in your snap world? work right now oh yes there's um there's 13 tiny picture instructions on doing the snap. I see. 13 very, very tiny um, instructions to do. You that. need 13 steps to do a snap, huh? That's right. Wow. And multiple tools. I've done harder things and less steps than that. <laughs> and multiple tools, mind you. Buoy number one, back at Hatchie Pass. We're dealing with extremely low depths here, so gonna have to be careful. We're talking five and a half feet, five feet. There's one little area in the middle, we've been told is the toughest part because it keeps building sand and they keep digging it out, but still gotta be careful. There's first beach I've seen in a long time. That should be nice. Some Anchorage weekend that we get out here and go for some walks. Pretty unspoiled. There's a little island. That'll be awesome to explore at low tide and see what kind of creatures we can see out there. It's not that far off the main one. Uh, I should say the main Everglades. Who knows what that is? Land, mangroves, swamps, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Here we go, buoy number five. Bingo. Well, we're stuck. Buoy 10, which we hope is the bay that they told us about earlier, but we're coming in at low tide. We knew this would probably be an issue. So, 
Steve and Bill and went fishing. Actually, they're checking out the depth of everything first and then they're going fishing. Maybe. Who knows what they're going to do. <laughs> they said they'll be back in 45 minutes. I might be gone. I might just leave them here. Alright, we got unstuck. We left uh, Stephen and Amal because we got it unstuck, so we just decided to proceed without them. Here they come chasing us. Here comes Pilar, coming up the mangroves into Port of the Islands Marina. She's run aground one time. Well, we're stuck again. Marker 23. Bill's trying to get us off because he's the one that got us stuck this time. Patience, patience now. Patience, yeah. We had a couple people come by. One offered to pull us out with their fishing boat, small fishing boat. I don't think he would have been able to pull us out. Uh, we weigh a lot. We weigh a lot. We need to go on a diet. Well, here we are, marker 35, stuck. Got maybe three foot of water, and we uh, need no, we'll see about that. we need four and a half to get through. Let's see about that. Steven doing some depth checks here. Oh, you got a little bit more water. Over there. Uh -huh, it's the same. It's exactly the same. Oh, okay. Because right. yeah. While we were waiting, the sun came out just a little bit, peeking out from under the clouds, and you saw the true color and brilliance of the mangroves that are lining our approach, so we look forward to that. And then the pretty skies came out. We made it through, finally. We've been trying to get down this channel for about three hours, but now we're here, and we are just about to head into the man-made portion of the channel which should be a straight shot and plenty of room here we go one more mile well here we are again arriving in the dark we really don't try to do this. We really do try to arrive in the daylight. However, we're it's just not in control. Happens. We're just never in control. And we're headed into the jungle. Oh, and it's starting to rain. So this marina is relatively um, well, not new, but on undergoing a renewal. And there's all these homes around here too, which are really beautiful. Um, hard to see at night, but we'll catch some more footage in the morning. And we should be at our dock yeah. soon. This is a mall that we're interviewing. A mall just completed a week long trip with us from Charleston, South Carolina, down to uh, Marco Island, Florida, just south of Naples. We are on the edge of the Everglades. And uh, I wanted Amal to tell you a little bit about his experience on the boat. So, Amal, what was the 
best part of the whole trip for you? Oh, well, I think the overall experience, I can't really name one, but I think, uh, you know, starting from the rugged seas that we started with, which is a great experience for me, um, and we ended up here in this marina in low tide was like a good spot to test, you know, the tide and everything. Was, All right. I think the overall experience was good. Yeah, I'm all did great. I'm the one that got sick, even though I've been on this boat a million times. So, um, what what did you like least about the trip? Um, I'm not going to say. I mean, it is good. I mean, there's nothing I could complain because the trip itself fulfilled what I wanted to get out of it. I wanted to get some experience with night sailing and I got that. You know, we were out in the sea for what now, eight days or something? Yeah. Seven, eight days and seven, eight, out of which maybe four to five days was in the night. And half of that was pretty rough. So it was a great experience with heavy weather sailing, um, parasailing, that's, we got uh, spinnakers up, that was a good sail. So all of that was a great experience. It, it was a technical sailing experience, which I like because that's exactly what I came for. Yep, you certainly did get a little bit of everything on this trip. Well, thank you for coming with us. Yeah. Thank you. And for... good luck in your ASA certification yeah. pursuit and yeah. in everything you do in life. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Port of the you. Islands Marina. And we're going to give you a little tour of the marina here. Here's our neighbor. This dock's not totally done. You can see the power pole. Uh, they're, hopefully they're only a couple weeks away on this dock, but they're doing some major renovations everywhere and putting in some more pilings and just doing a whole bunch of renovations so they can fit more boats in here. There's the piling driver. These guys he actually moved. He was out on the end dock earlier, so they're making progress. There's a ship store, dock master office. Here's a little restaurant on site, Anglers Cove it's called. And the condos in the area all uh, enjoy this pool. Pretty nice. We got a thatched hut for events. Gator in the water. Yeah, I ain't going paddle boarding around here. Freaking kidding me! Oh my gosh. This craziness. I think he's hiding his body so you won't see him. Oh yeah. There he goes. Stealthy. He's good size. He takes those deep breaths and back home. That's it for our November sale. We made it and we'll leave you with this beautiful thought. We will be back down in December. In the meantime, make sure you leave a comment, question, or a thumbs up. Share this video with others and subscribe and click the bell for future notifications. Thanks.